What's up, guys? This is Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, Episode 2. No, not 2, Episode 6, my bad. So, um, we all know to start off with, um, Lauren looked like she was having a dream about she was calling her mom and her dad because you remember she wanted to see her parents. And the fact that when she woke up, Jenna, you know, Jenna was, you know, trying to get her to come back to the safe house because, you know, Lauren didn't really want to be there, but she didn't want to, don't want any part of it. But they said that if she do this, then she free because Lauren don't want to be involved. Especially saying that Tariq, that she said that Tariq is innocent and, you know, Sats was talking to her and stuff. I don't know, just jumping the head and stuff. Sats was talking to him. Well, not to him. To her about what she had to do because, you know, they want to um, pre, you know, they know to read. He basically knows to read and it's not innocent. Guilty about what he did to all the men, all the people he killed. You know, he said that wasn't, well, I don't think he said that, but I would definitely know that what's going on and what's going down. So basically what's going on is um she trying to they she's trying to get Lauren to turn on to read and that's what Zach and Jenna was doing. And it look like they're gonna be working together again. I don't know, but that's what it looked like. And of course those two talk and of course, she apologized for lying to him and stuff like that. Whatever it takes, whatever. Um, we see to be. I know he went to the grad site, but we know he beat the crap out of it. But he didn't tell him where Effie, tell him what happened to Effie, who killed Effie and stuff. Cause remember, he was pissed off about what happened to his ex-girlfriend. And then he did confront Brayden. Brayden tell him with Effie that did it because he knew that they were both in on it and the fact that he had to take her somewhere you know when she did when she um remember she uh drew the you know put the car in the water while she was in there thought she was dead she knocked her out and he confronted her saying what you what happened here and of course she was lying saying we see on the news but you really don't believe that shit because she didn't hear what you know Effie killed Lauren, even she was alive. She killed Lauren, but Lauren's still alive. We know next week they're going to talk again in private. And, you know, she tests him, you know, after the, he uh, having a conversation. And we, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Of course, Kane and Kane, I don't know why I call him Kane. We know Kane was part of that because he know that Lauren was wearing a white and I don't know every looking out for Kane and everything else. I feel like they're gonna probably hook up just like Diana and um Tariq hooked up because remember Diana just broke up with this guy. Um when he was asking all so much question and call her father a criminal and she got pissed off because you clearly tell that she's close to her dad. He was killed. Kane had to hear for it. It's true. Think it's the Russian one. Clearly not. The man they sleeping with, he the one that killed your father. And I know you're going to find out. You're going to kill him or Kane going to kill him. I don't know what they would do it. But I don't see Diane never kill anybody before. I'm going to be honest. And I don't think she's about that life. I don't know. I mean, she did punch Monet. I think it was two episodes ago when she had to um, make it seem like it was a, a mug or attack and stuff like that. So, of course, Brayden locked to read, which means he can't come and work because, you know, Brayden was upset about, you know, of course, he came downstairs and of course, remember what they what he did to Effie and Brayden that they couldn't get in, that members is only. Tui is doing this because he was pissed off, and now Brayden is doing back to him. And I know Effie was pissed off when Diane and um, I know they talk about it, but Diane and um, 
Tariq was hooking up, and by the time she opened the door, and they were doing a side deal. She tried to do a side deal with Diana, but Diana said she didn't want no part of it. She asked Tariq, you should get out too. And he said he thinking about it. He said, of course, he wanted to get out, but he knows it's not that easy. Let's not forget they stuck with Noma because how white hair man showed up. Think that he was going to leave town, and he came to bring the pilot to them. And basically, he said he would tell no one what they'd be doing. He said, you're not going to tell her a goddamn thing. He put a gun at him. He got up and left. He had to call Brayden so they can get his out. Of course, Brayden decided like, to read in. Then we see Kiki talk to Brayden and say, now I just realized she knew about it. So she knew it was a scam. And she's still working there. Is that interesting? And especially she's saying that she want her cut. Brandon was going to say no at first, but he's going to give it to her. So that way she won't report it. Because she will report it. But, yeah. He basically said he'll take care of it. He will report it. Not report it. He will give her a cut. You know. Um, Everything was going heated in the classroom. And to be told him so the respect. She just lost her father. And me know that I ain't wasn't in class. Because she was grieving about her dad. And then we know Drew when to kill the Russian. He was fighting with this woman, which is interesting. Because we know he don't like women. But it was good because he was getting her out of there. So she wouldn't be there. With, so she won't witness this. I think it was smart. But when they did tell him not to do anything stupid. But he was reckless. Killed one guy. He stabbed him. And why he the one, why he shot the rest of the Russian. But I know they're going to get revenge. Because at the funeral, at that what happened, because that was the last scene, it was a shootout. And Kane was pissed because he knew Kane, he knew Drew went out there and killed those Russians. And they had to break it up. Monet, you remember she did say she was in charge. And then you got her constant slash husband talk to her. And saying that they will find out because what they do, they're not going to forgive you. Especially Diane. We know she's not. She was really close to her father. Cain was just rekindle his relationship with his father. You know what I'm saying? He's starting to respect him. Took to beat him like a man and everything. You know, Drew, he believed Drew would be the good leader. And, of course, we know Drew was smiling after that. So... We know he's going to continue to see this dude. And next week, Monet's going to tell him, you need to step away for Strew. And he said, I'm going to still see him. He's going to be the one to go. He's going to be next to go because the truth will come out when he find out. Or because we know Monet, the one that... It's like she hired him to put a head out on Lorenzo. And I already know there was at the funeral. But yeah, guys, um, that's all, because I don't really want to talk about everything. But don't forget to share this video, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you like the video. I'm out.